Now many things are recycled these days and now blood has joined the list. British scientists have developed a new machine to help overcome blood shortages and to cut the need for transfusions. Phil Lavelle explains how it works. It is one of the issues medics have always faced, how to minimise the amount of blood lost during major surgery, especially with demand for donations seemingly insatiable, which is why the name Hemosep is getting surgical circles excited. Born in Britain and tested in Turkey, this portable machine takes the best bits out of the blood that leaves the body and then prepares them to go back in. What this system will do is it will take the blood and then suck it into the bag and then once it's in the bag the bag will start to filter out all the water-like solution so that you're left with the clotting factors and the red cells and then they can be given back to the patient. They're the really important bits. They're the important bits that the patient requires to help them stop bleeding and to continue carrying the oxygen around the body. The notion of recycling blood first caught on during the early years of the AIDS crisis with concerns about contaminated supplies. It's not a new idea. What is new is being able to do it all so cheaply. A unit of blood costs $240, but parts for this machine are half that price, $120. And they can even be manufactured on a 3D printer. The, the actual device itself is a very small footprint, so you can, you can move it to the location that's required and it is very cost effective compared to current methods. Why is it cost effective? What is the difference? Um, basically because you're recycling the whole blood species, you don't have to add other elements like platelet therapy when you're giving blood transfusion, so it can save costs and save time. The Hemosep was originally intended for war zones, places where spare blood is typically in short supply. But it's also helping groups like Jehovah's Witnesses, whose religion bans them from receiving another person's blood. And it is less traumatic to the body than traditional transfusions, reducing recovery times and the risk of complications or death. The feeling is this machine could revolutionise the operating theatre.